Hello everyone, ciao, this is Orak and finally we got a new Diablo game, so new videos and new guides. I'm main droid since close beta, so I'm really happy to be able to show you my first guide on this amazing class. Uh, people who already know my channel know that I don't spam content, but uh, I release videos only whenever I have something really valid to show you. Today I'll show you the Storm Wolf, a build that I've been studying and perfectioning considering all the situation I've been through in Closet Beta, Service Lamps and official release. I hope you will like it. Uh, I told you this uh, because I've seen something around uh, but I can assure you that at certain levels some different disposition of points between skill tree, passives and paragon boards can make the difference. Uh, Today I'll show you exactly this, uh, skill tree, paragon board, aspects, uh, affixes to roll on the items and a short focus on early game and in the end some gameplay. So let's start saying why it is called Stormwolf. Obviously the name suggests that we are going to play with the werewolf uh, with the storm nature magic skills, uh, in particular tornado so we will mainly do physical damage uh, another important premise has to be done uh, this build is really end game the strongest one for druid but to be able to play it, it uh, we need to drop a specific unique helm so i suggest you to think about it only when you will have it on your hands or i mean uh, on your head it is correct to start with the idea to use it, but it is also correct to prepare a plan B and plan C in case the helm won't drop. Um, speaking of this, uh, in early game I suggest you to start uh, with a simple bear build uh, using pulverize. Uh, wait, pulverize. Uh, it, here it is. And landslide. Uh, uh, and all the pets and legend legendary aspect. Uh, these pets and shepherd on your uh, two enders weapon and then stampede on your amulet uh, phase one is a multiplier of your uh, core skills based on the number of pets while the second one uh, increases the number of them put, so uh, as I said put first on a two hander and a second one on an amulet Whenever you notice that your damage starts dropping, then it's time to switch to a better version of a bear build, uh, like the famous Cocaine Bear, which is, uh, uses a unique helm, Basili. Here it is. Or the Trample Slide, which uh, instead doesn't use any Unix. I'll leave you links uh, of my planners in the description. Let's now talk about our Storm Wolf. Uh, like we previously said, it's based on Tempest Roar, um, Unique Helm, but also on Lucky Eat Chance that allows us to proc Calm before the Tempest. Let's give it a look. Yeah, here it is. Um, which is a perk from the Snake Spirit Boon, our class specialization. Uh, Cal before the Tempest gives us the, the chance to reduce ult ultimate cooldown by 2 seconds, which is, a gr which is Grizzly Rage. Here it is. The reason why is simple, there are two legendary aspects that make it really devastating. Direwolf, to make it a werewolf skill with more movement speed and spirit cost reduction. And the other one is Rampaging of the Werebeast um, that increases uh, ultimate duration and moreover increases the crit damage every time we crit up to a maximum of 1000%. Uh, At this point uh, is where our famous Elm start shining, uh, starts shining. Uh, it transforms Storm skills into Werewolf so that every time we cast Tornado we don't shape back uh, to human form. Speaking about Tornado, it is a, a core skill uh, that we can spam thanks to our spirit regeneration from gear and paragon board. Tornado uh, eats twice each uh, mob every second and uh, it has 8% lucky each chance base. So just imagine how many chances to proc Calm Before the Tempest we have while facing a group of mobs. 
So the goal of the druid build, uh, this druid build, is to keep up Grizzly Rage as much as possible um, and spam powerful crits. Now let's take a quick look to all the things we didn't mention so far between spirits, skill tree and aspects. Uh, so the spirit boons that we want are damage reduction um, against elite. Uh, then we have 30% uh, critical damage or attack speed. I choose attack speed which is a very important uh, uh, stats uh, uh, stat uh, for our build and then uh, we have 25% ulti ultimate duration and healing from your critical crits and uh, come before the storm uh, as we previously said about the skill tree let's have a look okay um, for basic uh, uh, skill uh, there are uh, two different philosophies wind share is very good uh, while we are out of spirit which happens most of the time while we are uh, without ulti uh, or our ulti is on cooldown when this happens you can kite mobs to regenerate spirit from distance it's safer compared to the other philosophy, Storm Strike, uh, um, a melee attack, which gives us damage reduction. Uh, it's up to you guys, it depends on your playstyle and the content you want to clear. I prefer Storm Strike is much more comfortable, especially if you consider that you, you will need uh, spirit to regenerate spirit while you're already uh, casting Tornado and so you are basically melee in a melee position against a mob so you're already in melee range so some strike looks um, a bit better but as I said it's about your play style as you feel safer or comfortable uh, going ahead in skill 3 we pick these passives to improve damage and movement speed and then we select cyclone armor uh, which will always be active and it also good to apply vulnerability and uh, knockback on cast which is okay um, for another passive which we will see later a quick focus on cyclone armor uh, the seconds enhancement uh, it is always active uh, until use so it charges in 10 seconds and stay active uh, till it procs uh, okay then we have blood hole um, which we spam to improve attack speed and to heal ourselves going ahead we have hurricane uh, for damage reduction and to apply vulnerability uh, then with these passives we apply poison and slow that uh, we will profit from our gear the affixes from uh, our gear uh, it is also it's also important a uh, bad omen passive which is considered as a storm skill and can proc lucky each chance for cal before the tempest uh, um, last but not least uh, we talk about uh, uh, Herter Might passive, thanks, the thanks to Mighty Storm uh, legendary aspect, uh, which I have on my gloves and I will show you later, is applied to Storm skills, so Werewolf uh, too, and gives us the chance to refuel spirit uh, and guarantee critical damage. It's crazy good. Then, speaking of Paragon board, here it is. Uh, in the starter board uh, we select Spirit Glyph and Rare Nords are Damage, Life and, and Armor. Uh, then we move to Last of Carnage uh, board to have a source of Spirit Regeneration. Rare Nords are Wearful Damage, more healing, attack speed, uh, um, while the Glyph uh, is uh, Werewolf. Then we move to the left. Uh, on Aethnet um, Ma uh, sorry, um, Malice uh, to quickly grab that legendary node to improve our damage and then go for Fang and Claw Glyph here it is 
On top of the previous board, uh, we have Thunderstruck uh, to increase damage to vulnerable enemies. Glyph is Earth and Sky. Uh, rare nodes to improve damage and damage reduction. Alright. Uh, moving on the left, we have Constricted Tendrils. Uh, not for this legendary node, but for a quick path to link Thunderstroke and Ethernet Malice. Uh, we have uh, um, time uh, for a rare glyph, which is exploit. Uh, in the end, uh, we go to the Ancestral Guidance uh, to increase damage uh, again uh, after spending 75 spirit. Now let's have a look at our gear disposition. Here it is, and all the aspects uh, on the chest. Uh, we use uh, disobedience because it's amazing. It also benefits from the scouts we have on a jewelry. Uh, use this lot to improve your toughness. As you can see, I prefer the four defensive brawls. On gloves, uh, as I said, we have mighty storm. Here you want plus 4 to Tornado, attack speed and lucky each chance. The fourth roll is up to you. I, I prefer the uh, critical strike chance, but you can put uh, willpower, uh, whatever you prefer. I suggest you crit chance. On pants, we use a vigorous aspect or temerity unit. unique. Here it is. Um, I prefer quadrifecta defensive. Um, then going ahead, we have a weapon. On weapon, we use accelerating, and as a rose, we want four different multipliers like vulnerable damage, core skill, close damage, and uh, willpower. On boots, we use uh, Ghost Walker. During Grizzly Rage, we are unstoppable. On this slot, uh, roll every uh, time movement speed. Uh, and then it's up to you. Uh, I use uh, 21 plus uh, 2 all stats to unlock uh, all my rare notes. Uh, willpower for damage. And then I use the default uh, fix to roll some a defensive one. Um, Okay, uh, Ghost Walker, like Disobedience uh, and Rampaging Werebeast and Retaliation on Totem, uh, can be found easily with the Codex Dungeons. So, as we said, on Totem, uh, put Retaliation uh, and now enroll it with uh, Lucky Hit Chance, cooldown reduction are mandatory and then two rolls up to you I choose the willpower to have more damage and then I have this life on kill but you you can go even uh, defensive uh, like uh, uh, damage reduction while fortified or you can even use a uh, um, spirit cost reduction I made few tries and I noticed that I didn't didn't need uh, um, spirit uh, cost reduction. The the build uh, works fine even without that. Uh, then going ahead uh, on both rings, uh, roll damage to vulnerable enemies, like each chance and crit chance. The fourth roll is up to you. I guess, as you can see, on one I have put maximum life. On another one, damage to close enemies. Uh, aspects are uh, rampaging of the were beast and storm chaser. Um, this is very important, especially people who already played uh, Wind Druid uh, on Diablo 2 know how random this tornado can be, but thanks to this aspect, uh, the build feels amazing now. In the end, on the amulet, use Dire Wolf and roll uh, mandatory al cooldown and plus 3 to Envenom passive, which we already saw. Uh, while showing uh, the skill tree, here it is, I have plus 6, uh, so every time you have uh, one rank to this build, you will, uh, um, and a poisoned enemies will take 10% more additional critical stack damage, so it's really important. Don't forget that amulet slot is really important because buffs the aspect for 50%, so must be dire wolf. So speaking about gameplay, um, try not to stay too static on a specific spot. Uh, um, 
uh, instead try to stop their stepping so one tornado one step one tornado one step and so on this will make your gameplay much more enjoyable and safer speaking of PvP build is not optimized for it, but uh, I'm having really good results. Now I leave you to a gameplay clip. Uh, for any questions, don't hesitate to write them in the comment section below. Thanks for following. See ya next. Ciao.